Hey you going RPG fans, tonight is going to be a rant video on the compilation pack for Final Fantasy 4 on the PSP, which I gotta say came out of left field and knocked me off my chair because I think it's absolutely awesome what they're gonna do for this little pack. I knew in my last video I said I was going to talk about the most disappointed games of 2010 but I've decided to scrap that, I'm not in the mood to do it. Um, I probably will be talking about one of those games in this video, nevertheless, so... Anyway, I thought the PSP was already epic enough and they announced this, which is absolutely awesome. Now, the reason why I'm excited for this is it's not just another straight remake of Final Fantasy IV. On the UMD, you only get one game, you get two. You get Final Fantasy IV and you get the After Years with it as well. And for all of you that don't know what the After Years is, it's the direct sequel to Final Fantasy IV. And it was originally on the cell phones in Japan and what happened was is instead of being a full game, it came in little bite-sized scenarios that you can be in within hour to three or four hours, which I thought was pretty neat. Each scenario focused on one of the characters of the original game. Uh, the first scenario was the son of Cecil and Rosa. You took control of their son, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, and then later on you get to play as the other cast members. But back then I said to myself, there's no way in hell would get this, you know, it's not one of those things that they're ever gonna release on cell phones outside of Japan. But to my fortune, they actually released it on the Wii on the WiiWare, which was awesome. Uh, and then they decided to translate it, which was also awesome, which everyone got it across the world. The sad thing was is when I got to the third scenario, my Wii malfunctioned and it's virtually unplayable right now, which is kind of really sad because I really, really enjoyed playing the After Years. But very, very happy that they decided to put it in to the PSP pack. And what's also really cool is, is they're going to upgrade the visuals to the same level as Final Fantasy 1 and 2. And not only that, to basically throwing something new and fresh to everyone that's already played every form of Final Fantasy 4 or the After Years, they're going to include an extra scenario that ties Final Fantasy 4 to the After Years, which is also very awesome. So essentially, you've got about two 30-hour games at the minimum. So this game is going to be around about 60 hours minimum, if you just want to do the bare, bare minimum, which I think is awesome. That is extremely good value for money, and that is a definite pickup for me. It's a definite import for me. And it should be for any Final Fantasy fan or anyone who loves 4, because there's so much more to offer. Now, the comments I've seen for this is I haven't been great. A lot of people are saying that they should stop remaking Final Fantasy games and just continue on making new ones. My honest, blunt opinion, this is the safest bet that Square Enix can hope for. This is a license to print money and God knows they need this right now. Because after the disaster that was 13 and 14, they need to recover from it because, oh, uh, as you can already guess, one of my most disappointing games of 2010 was Final Fantasy 13. Everyone bought that up to be the next big thing in RPGs and it just proved to be uh, a headache in so many different parts of the game. I mean, seriously, the story was fantastic. I loved the characters, the visuals, and the music, all top-notch. I just hated the battle system so much. Um, as you can see, the grief on my face, face even thinking about it, makes me sad. I, I remember grinding in chapter 11, getting ready for 12 and 13, and I grinded for three days straight with five hour sessions in each day. And I tell you what, on the second day, I considered going over to the nearest brick wall and smashing my face as hard as possible. I seriously thought that would be a better use of my time and a lot less painful than repeatedly torturing myself with that god-awful battle system. Why they introduced the stagger bar is beyond me, and having multiple commands seemed really cool at first. 
it is very time consuming to put in those commands and by the end you try and do something you just want to hit auto battle there's no fun in hitting auto battle I can go on why I hate that battle system so much I can go on saying how much I hate the fact that there was no stable income in that game that also pissed me off to no no end I, I, I can talk about how much the game disappointed me in the gameplay aspects but just like I said this is the reason why they need to re-release 4. It's simple, it's got a great story, it's already a Final Fantasy game that everyone knows and loves, it's easy just to pick up and play, and it's something I'm looking forward to. And I'm glad Square Enix is doing this, it's basically going to reassure that block of fans that were not happy with 13, and that other block of fans um, that, you know, I, I, I hated 14. Now, I can't talk about 14 personally because I haven't played it, but what I've heard about it, it's not crash hot. And I've heard about the mistakes they've made and the cutbacks and the layoffs. That, that's not good press for a game, I can tell you that now. So, releasing Final Fantasy IV on the PSP is a very, very safe bet because it's one of the best games in the series and they're going to release it on one of the most popular gaming devices in Japan so this is big money for Square Enix and I really hope they get back on their feet because um, it is really sad that it's come to this point I really hope that 15 appeals to everyone you know in some shape or form I, I really hope they simplify things. I hope they go back to just having a normal ATV battle system. That would reassure me. Because um, creatively wise, creating characters, creating the plot, the music and the story, I I'm always going to be reassured it's going to be fantastic. It's just I I'm now fearing for my life every time they talk about creating something brand new in terms of the gameplay or the battle system. It makes me afraid to even wonder what new hells they've unleashed. Personally, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Go back to ATV Battle System and just reassure everyone. Saying that, I know they have to appeal to a new, brand new audience every generation. And who knows, there might have been people that really, really loved 13. Some newcomers that think that's the standard for what an RPG should play like, but for an old hat like me, you know, it was just tiresome to play. <laughs> I just wanted something very more simple to play. That's why I really enjoyed playing Dragon Quest IX directly after finishing 13. I said that's probably why it made me love the game a hundred times more than I should have. Because that because the glory thing about Dragon Quest, it's, it's always been remained simple. But it can be challenging even with having a simple battle system. And it's just proved that to me. Where I am now reassured that a Dragon Quest game will always be more accessible and will most likely have a positive effect on me than playing a Final Fantasy game. So I've pretty much ranted long enough. Story short. Go get Final Fantasy XIV PSP because it's going to be one of the best values for money ever. And the reason why I also say buy it, because the PSP is slowly dying. And I don't want to be naive saying, but here in Australia, most of the gaming stores have taken it off their sh major shelves. I've gone to a couple of EBs where they've taken it off completely, and that really shocked me. Um, some of the major chains still stock them. But, you know, everywhere in England, everyone in England, America and Australia, support this little system because it is fantastic. And especially if you're an RPG fan, there are tons of bloody good RPGs to play on that system. And, of course, Final Fantasy IV for the PSP is going to be one of them. Anyway, I thought I'd finish this video off showing you how much I love Final Fantasy IV. I've got a small collection here of games. Now, when it comes to Final Fantasy, I don't want to collect every version that's ever been made. Pretty much just four. I'll gladly collect every version of Final Fantasy 4. So, in no particular order, this is the original uh, 
DS version that I bought back in 2008, and this made me fall in love with Final Fantasy IV in general and the entire series all over again because it was a point in my life where I I was kind of bashing the series for a while, but this made me fall in love with the series all over again. Soon afterwards, I found a very cheap copy of Final Fantasy IV for the Game Boy Advance. I put this on the Game Boy Micro, and it's really, really, really cool. It's really, really neat. Um, I haven't got a chance to play this fully, but um, I might give it a go at one stage or another. Here's the original version of Final Fantasy IV that was first released to Australia, and it's part of a compilation pack called Final Fantasy Anthology. And for the PAL version, it has 4 and 5. Um, a lot of people don't like this because the loading times are pretty um, bad, so... I had to pay through the nose to get this second hand. I had to pay $100 second hand. Um, it is one of the rarest pieces around the PAL regions, and I'm really glad I have it. And last but not least, I actually bought this this week, and I've had this on lay-by for a while. My local games store ordered this, expecting this to be a PAL copy, but they soon found out this is an NTSC copy. They couldn't sell this because no one in Australia has NTSC. But being the crazy RPG collector I am, I picked it up. And it is the Final Fantasy Chronicles pack. And this had the NTSC PS1 version of Final Fantasy IV, but it also had the PS1 version of Chrono Trigger. So this kills two birds with one stone. In one way, I love collecting Final Fantasy IV games. In the other way, I love collecting the Chrono series, so it's a nice, wonderful little pack. And as you can see, it's not opened, it is still sealed, and I think it'll probably stay that way. And it probably will stay that way, because honestly, if I want to play Chrono Trigger, I'll go play the DS version. If I want to go play Final Fantasy IV, I'll probably play the DS version, or most likely will go and play the PSP version when it comes out. So thank you for sticking around, li listening to my rant. It certainly was a rant. Um, I have another rant being planned in the future, and I will stick to this. I want to talk about The Last Story, because I watched a two-hour presentation on it, and I believe it is the must game that you have to own for your Wii. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching.